people have said some vile things to me. You know about my whole Indonesia thing? Ooh, this is good. Oh. This is gonna give the anarchists and Lee Chess some, some humor. <clears throat> oh, yeah, was, let's, uh, let's go, to Indi what's the Indonesia thing? Just yeah. The way you said it, okay, maybe we don't wanna talk about it. No, no, but it's, let's, let's talk no, about it's, it. No, it's, it's totally fine. I- Who did you kill? I, didn't, I, I was gonna say I wish, <laughs> but I'm not even sure I can make a joke like that. Yeah. I, uh, so the Indonesia thing was, I was streaming chess mm -hmm. on chess.com, I might add. <laughs> Uh, and I got booted up a 10 minute game. Just a random account from Indonesia. That was the flag. Now, mind you on these websites, you can pick your flag. It can be from wherever you don't, it's not geo tracing, you can change it. I was like, okay, account from Indonesia. And as always, I looked at the account cause it was a untitled high rated account. And I looked through the games, win rate was suspiciously high. A average accuracy was suspiciously high. Like, okay, I think this is a cheater. I said it out loud. It's not mm -hmm. the first time I've played cheaters on stream. And I said, okay, I'm still gonna play. Let's see what happens. The game was not crazy suspicious, but definitely suspicious. A few critical moments where I just clearly thought I had a good position and then the person or the bot played some move that just killed my hopes mm -hmm. and I lost. I was like, okay, I lost. And uh, I wrote to the chess.com fair play team, like behind the scenes, I wasn't even saying anything publicly on stream and the uh, guy got banned. Mm -hmm. It was a cheater. So that night, uh -oh. right before I'm going to sleep, because Indonesia is 12 hours ahead of New York, I go on my Twitter, what the hell is going on? I see hundreds of responses to my recent tweets. Levy, you gotta check Facebook, man. You gotta check Facebook. Like, so you got here's a link. So, Allegedly, that account belonged to an older gentleman and his son made a Facebook post that said, my dad played a big streamer in chess, Gotham Chess, and Gotham got mad he lost to my dad. So his community mass reported my dad and he was banned for cheating. Mm -hmm. Oh, it went viral. Oh no. Did you know that Indonesia has the fourth largest population in the world? I didn't know. I learned oh, it the hard way. Interesting. Tens of thousands of DMs every second. Wow. D e Instagram DMs, because I had my DMs open. I was never afraid of that stuff. Uh, my YouTube videos went from 99% of uh, upvote, uh, downvote to 50, 50, 50. Oh, wow. They swarmed my so comments. So all negative. Oh, all, like... ne all play him again. You... I, I mean, I, I don't know how much swearing there is on this podcast, but I mean, it was just all sorts of- All the they, fucking swearing you want. <laughs> uh, they- Just everything, ruthless, the, the vicious- They were gonna tech. kill me. They oh. were going to rape my family. They were going to, they were contacting people I followed on Instagram. They were contacting them and telling them crazy things. It was, I'm not joking. It was tens of thousands of people every minute. It was unbelievable. And I didn't know what to do because the guy cheated. I was in the right. Yeah. People. Well, how certain were you that he cheated? 100%. Okay. 100%. I mean, okay, I don't know if you can say 100%, it, but. but so chess.com had also had a suspicion. They, what Because they have like good, they have the like good detection algorithms. Yes, kind of Danny Wrench would be able to, I legitimately know nothing about the behind the scenes because it's only kind of tech people. But uh, what one thing I did not realize was that this account whether it was the son playing or the father playing, we will not know. We don't know who played. It could have been the son. It could have been the dad covering for him, whatever. But at some point that account won 27 games in a row at 95% accuracy. I mean, even Magnus can't do that. Even, you know, uh, this took a month. This story took one month from start to finish. First, I had to work with a, like a media company to geo block my content in Indonesia on YouTube. So Indonesians could not see my channel. Oh, so you, you didn't want to like lean into it, go full Donald Trump. No, no. Let's, let's, uh, cause you're in the right, you feel like you're in the right. You, as far as you know, you're in the right. Yeah. And I and hated like, watching all my work burn to the ground. Like, oh, I, you, you felt it, it was being. Yeah. And I'm, one thing I'm learning about myself is I'm not a good crisis actor. I need someone to like slap me so I don't do something emotional in the moment when crisis is ongoing. What what would be the emotional act that's not productive there? 
partnering with an MCN that makes you give away a bunch of your revenue. And then when you break with them, I wasn't monetized for a week. It was a very big decision to plug in. I think they're called MCNs, but- What are they? Sorry, I don't, what are MCNs? They're like, we, there's, there's specialized agencies that That's work cool. behind the scenes with YouTube yeah. that if you connect your account, they say they can give you certain ad benefits. They can geo-block your content. They, which you can't do normally. They have certain perks that only YouTube allows behind the scenes. You pay them 10% of your monthly ad revenue, mm -hmm. but they claim to do a handful of things for you. I just needed them to geoblock my content. I, I just didn't, I did, didn't care how much money I was uh, going to give away per month, but- well, So why geoblock it? You just didn't like the, the downloading? Yeah, I didn't want- You wanted the, positivity? More like you're being educational, you're, I mean, they're like, you do a bit of shit talking, but it's more like fun and easy going. You didn't want this kind of viciousness. Yeah, my comment section was just being completely flooded. Like they were destroying my channel. And to be honest, maybe all of the views and the downvotes out of, would have actually been beneficial. Maybe it meant my videos would have actually started getting recommended to more people. Yeah. But I'm a person. This is, yeah. it all goes back to the same oh, thing. Oh, so this got to you. Yeah, this was like, I was just watching it and I'm like, this is not fair. This is, I don't, I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna stop this as much as I can. They still got through, they have VPN. <laughs> and they were like, you asshole, we, you don't think we have VPN in Indonesia? Yeah. It was this whole, you know, it was this whole thing. Um, this father and son got invited to every major news network. I'm not joking. They got invited to the major podcast. They like to say the Joe Rogan of Indonesia. Yeah. Daddy Corbusier is this, mentalist, he's a bald guy, very fun guy, mm -hmm. he had them. And that's when the Indonesian Chess Federation stepped in. The thing is nobody who was harassing me knows anything about chess. Mm -hmm. They just saw the story. And uh, long story short, they brought in a sponsor. The guy played a strong, uh, one of the strongest chess players in the country who also happens to be a woman, Irene Sukandar. She's like 2400 international master. She crushed him because his actual playing strength is 1300, 1400, you, something like that. He still got paid because there was a winning prize fund, a losing prize fund, and we never heard from him again. And that was the whole story. So that was, that was why I had to shut down all of my social media to DMs and DM requests and even notifications. Like I don't get notifications unless it's someone I follow. But see, stuff like that doesn't often get resolved in this kind of clear way. No, it doesn't. Could have been. So you got lucky there that there's, um, a conclusion to this. Yeah, somebody got views, somebody got money. Uh, and I never but, got I never got many apologies. <laughs> what did you learn from that experience about yourself, about about the internet? I think first and foremost, I learned that every moment you are live or broadcasting can be completely blown out of proportion. You have to be real careful and I can't actively think about that, unfortunately, even when I'm streaming. I've had other instances where things come back to bite. I've even had these moments live on stream. I feel like I said something too sarcastically to somebody and I don't know how their day is going. It might ruin their whole day. You know, God, God knows what. You have these moments of regret where you want your personality to shine through and you want to entertain. At least you're thinking at what cost if I make a joke to a, to a viewer that suddenly the whole chat is laughing at them, what if that puts them in a deep, dark place? And again, it's all, it all comes back to this one-on-one -on -one thing for me because I'm a human. I would hate to put another person into that situation. If I would much rather get a drink with somebody than, than but it's all kind of a, part of this act and you want to make jokes. And I also learned I'm a horrible crisis actor. So I have no patience, but I think that's normal in 2022. Everything is immediate. Mm -hmm. We can barely sit, think, let time go by.